Welcome back, everybody. It's just a couple more days to Halloween. So, I thought I would do one last creepy compositing video for you all to help get you in the spirit. Stick around until the end of the video, as we'll also be announcing our creepy compositing contest winners. But first, let me show you how I made this scary-looking clown image in Affinity Photo 2. I started with this picture of a man and a jack-o'-lantern that I generated from Leonardo.ai. I'm going to blend it in with this foggy background and then use this evil clown's face that I also generated from Leonardo. We're going to isolate the man and these pumpkins and remove the background. To do this, I'll go to my selection brush tool located in the left-hand toolbar. You can see that this is doing a pretty good job, but there are a couple spots where I want to get in closer, so I'll make my brush head smaller by clicking the left square bracket key a few times. To undo an area you selected by accident, just hold the Option or Alt key while painting to deselect them. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now, I'll click on the Refine tool in the top toolbar to make this even better. Actually, it's a very good selection. I'm not going to worry about the area around these pumpkins on the left. I'll blend that in later. And I don't care too much about the man's head, as I will cover that up. I'll just select the brush adjustment to foreground and paint back in a few things on the right here. Then I'll select the output to a new layer with mask and click apply. Alright, now I'm going to make sure I'm on the cutout layer and then go to the menu and select edit and then copy. Then switch to the foggy background image and select edit and then paste to paste the cutout on a new layer at the top. He's quite a bit smaller than I want him, so I'll grab the corner node to resize him, and then I'll move him into position using the arrow-shaped move tool. Now, I want to make the pumpkins on the ground a bit darker. So, I'll go back to my selection brush tool and paint over everything on this layer except for the man. Next, I'll click on the Adjustments button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select Brightness and Contrast. I'll lower the Brightness slider down a bit until it looks good. And then I'll drag and drop the Adjustment layer onto the Man and Pumpkin layer so it doesn't affect anything else. Next, I'm going to add a bit more fog in front of the Man. So, I'll click the New Pixel Layer button at the bottom right of the Layers panel. I'll drag this new layer up to the very top of the Layers stack. And then, I'll go to Filter in the menu, then Noise, and then Pearl in Noise. If you play around with these sliders a bit, you can get a nice smoke or fog effect. Okay, now. I'm going to use the Gradient tool in the left-hand toolbar to help blend this in. Oops! First, we need to apply a mask to the fog layer by clicking on the Mask button at the bottom of the Layers panel. Now we can use the Gradient tool and drag it from the bottom up a little bit. This will make a white to black gradient on the mask layer which will reveal the fog under the white areas and keep the rest transparent. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Next up, let's work on the creepy clown. I really just want to cut out his head. So, I'll go to my trusty selection brush tool and paint over the area I want to keep. As always, you can make your brush head bigger or smaller by clicking on the right or left square bracket keys. And you can hold the Option or Alt keys while painting to remove areas that you selected by accident. A viewer pointed out that this is only for the US and UK keyboards, so if you're in another country, feel free to let me know what keyboard keys work for you. Anyway, now that I have a pretty good selection, I'll go to the top toolbar and click Refine. 
Now, with the matte adjustment brush selected, I'll paint over the edges of his hair to try to get in as much of the details as possible. This actually looks pretty good. So, I'll select the output to New Layer and then click Apply. Alright, it's not perfect, but pretty close. If you ever want to get even more detail out, you can use the freehand selection tool that looks like a little lasso, and you can use it to encircle areas you don't want. Just draw around them and click Delete to get rid of them. To unselect the areas, just click Command or Control D. Alright, now I'm going to copy the head layer by going to Edit Copy, and then I'll switch back to the dude with the pumpkins and select Edit Paste to paste the head into a new layer. I'll drag the corner node to make it a little bigger, and then I'll give it a little evil tilt by using the handlebar at the top of the selection box. Now, to make this look a little more realistic, I'm going to put the creepy clown chin behind the top of the pumpkin. To do this, I'll first turn off the clown head layer so I can see what I'm doing. Then, I'll select the man layer and use the selection brush tool one more time to paint over the top of the pumpkin. I'll make my brush head bigger by clicking on the square bracket key a few times. And I'll click the left square bracket key to make it smaller again. Again, you can hold the Option or Alt key while painting to deselect any area you got by accident. This looks like another very good selection. So I'll just click Command or Control C to copy, and then Command or Control V to paste the top part of the Jack O' Lantern into a new layer. Then, I'll drag this new layer up above the creepy clown head layer and turn it back on so we can see it. Just a couple more things and then I'll announce the contest winners. First, I'm going to make some slight adjustments to the clown head by selecting it, rotating it a bit and then repositioning a little. Okay, that looks better. And finally, I think the head looks a little too bright. So, I'll click on the Adjustments button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select Brightness and Contrast. I'll just lower the brightness down some. There, that looks pretty good. Alright, and now for the moment most of you probably weren't waiting for. Back at the beginning of October, we announced a contest for the best creepy composite image. I promised to show the winners on a video before Halloween. Well. We only had two submissions. Jeff F. sent in this absolutely ghoulish image surrounded by a cool light painting effect. Jeff, if you're out there, I would love to know how you did it. The second image is from Chris M., who submitted this spooky image of what looks to be a skeleton party. I love the glowy eyes, Jeff. Nice job to both of you. I'm not sure if I can pick between the two, but I think we're really all winners here. Anyway, have a great day, everyone. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. We're almost to a thousand subscribers in less than four months, and I appreciate you all tuning in.